In this video, the goal is going to be to construct a line that is perpendicular to line segment AB, where that line also passes through point P. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to set our compass on point P, and we're going to adjust the length of the compass in such a way that it extends to the other side of line segment AB. Notice how the compass is set on point P, which is above line segment AB. So we're going to extend the length such that it extends to the side below line segment AB. So now we're going to construct two arcs. But when we construct these two arcs, we want to make sure that it intersects line segment AB twice. So we draw the first arc. And notice how we have an intersection point. And now we're going to construct the second arc in such a way that it intersects once again, which it does. So now we move the compass over. And we're going to label the two intersection points. We could label the first point of intersection C. And we're going to label the second intersection point D. So next what we want to do is we're going to set the compass on point C. And we're going to make sure that the compass is facing in the other direction of line segment AB. That is, notice how point P is above line segment AB. Now we're going to set the compass facing the direction below line segment AB. So now we're going to construct an arc. And we're going to do the same thing on point D. And we're going to construct this new arc in such a way that it intersects the arc that we just sketched. So now, one thing you'll also observe is that throughout this problem, I set the length of the compass to just one length. I didn't change it at all. So if you do this carefully, you could keep the length of the compass the same throughout this entire construction. So now that we have a new intersection point, we want to label this, let's say, point E. And now the last thing we need to do is, with the straight edge, we're going to construct a line such that the line passes through point P and E. So using a straight edge, we're going to draw our line such that it passes through both of these points. So next what we could do is we're just going to put arrows on the end of this line to indicate that it will go on forever in either direction. And we could label this new point of intersection, we could call it point F. So now we could conclude that line segment AB is perpendicular to line PE. And remember, this is the symbol for perpendicular. So we have line segment AB is perpendicular to line PE. And what that allows us to say is the measure of angle PFB is equal to 90 degrees. So we could put our symbol for 90 degrees here. And we also know that the measure of angle PFA is also 90 degrees. So we could once again put a symbol for 90 degrees. OK, well, this is going to conclude this construction on how to build a perpendicular line. Thank you all for watching, and I hope this video was helpful.